Hello everyone and welcome to the Random Lady AJ channel. I hope you're doing well. I am Angela and I am an artist, a writer, and a cat lady. And today I wanted to show you how I go about drawing simple eyes without reference. I usually enjoy doodling eyes because they are one of the most interesting parts of the human body to me. They are the windows to the soul and they can show a lot of expression. So let's get to it. I start by drawing a curved line for the top lip. Then I draw the bottom lid, making sure to offset the corners of the lid so the top lid can overlay it. I do not always connect the two lids together on the other side and make the caruncle and the medial canthus because I find that it looks more appealing without it, but there are times where I do. Then I begin to draw the iris, making sure the top lid overlays it and make sure the bottom lid is barely touching it. And now I'm just thickening up the lines. I want to make sure that the top lid is thicker than the bottom lid. Then I begin to draw the two lines below and above the eye. One for the lower lid crease below the eye and the upper lid fold above the eye. These give the eye a more rounded shape and show where the sclera roughly begins and ends. Next, I start with a basic arched eyebrow. Sometimes I draw the shape and fill it in. Other times I just shade it in until I like how it looks. After that, it's time to put in the pupil. To save time from erasing a white circle for the highlight, I make a small concave shape into the pupil. Then I begin to shade in the iris. And I try to make sure the top half of the iris is darker than the bottom half to show that the top lid is over it and I also thicken up the lines around the iris. I felt like the top lid needed to be thicker and cover the iris and pupil a little bit more. I now move on to the eyelashes. I just do individual flicks on the top and the bottom lids, but I don't go all the way across the lids with the lashes. Now I'm just lightly shading the top half of the sclera to also show that the top lid is overlaying it. I add a little shadow to the lower lid crease and add a shadow to the upper lid fold in between the eyebrow to make the eye more rounded. Thank you. 
Then I go about darkening and shading in wherever I think the eye needs it. And then I'm done drawing a simple eye. Now let's draw two eyes. Drawing two eyes is pretty much the same process. I like to draw a guideline to make sure that the eyes are both somewhat even or on the same plane. Once I draw the top lid, I don't feel like I need the guideline any longer, so I erase it. Sometimes I keep the guideline until the end just to make sure I'm staying even as much as possible. Then I slowly switch back and forth between each eye drawing in each feature. You'll notice that I drew the eyebrows instead of the irises first, unlike the first drawing. I don't have a solid set order of the steps of drawing eyes as long as the steps get done. Last, I wanted to draw a more masculine eye since the last two drawings weighed in on the more feminine side. The difference I usually see between a masculine eye and a feminine eye is that for a masculine eye, the top and lower lid are closer together, the eyes are smaller, and the eyebrow is also lower and thicker. But those are just my observations. Also, even though everyone has eyelashes in real life, I tend not to draw eyelashes on masculine eyes. And there you have it. This is how I go about drawing simple eyes, especially when I'm doodling and sketching. Now questions for you. How do you go about drawing a simple eye? Did you see any difference from how you draw them compared to how I draw them? I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you like the video and want to see more. Take care and have a good day and a happy holiday and I will see you in the next video. Bye!